Hi, my name is Gina Jemskull and welcome to the fourth part of the Night of the Candy Monsters quest. This is a quest that came out for Halloween 2016, also Halloween 2015, but we're not talking about that anymore. So in this part of the quest, we get the chance to win a cute fairy and frightening scarecrow costumes for our teen sims. So the first thing we need to do is to ask about Halloween party needs. Your sim has even more costumes, which means the orange monster has less to scare sims with. But Halloween is approaching quickly and the party isn't ready yet. Have a sim ask another sim what else they need for a proper Halloween party. So let's have one of our sims selected, click on another one and Halloween party needs takes five minutes. We've finished asking about Halloween party needs, now we need to check for food supplies. Food, of course, for a proper party you need to have plenty of food available for everyone. Have a sim check a refrigerator for food supplies. So let's click on our fridge and check food supplies, that is 8 minutes for that. That is task complete on checking for food supplies, now we need to make roasted pumpkin. It looks like you need a special kind of food for Halloween, maybe something made of pumpkins. Have a sim make roasted pumpkin on a grill in the park. Okay, so we need to head over to the park. So whistle a sim over to the park and then go to the grill, there'll be an exclamation mark above it so you should be able to find it quite easy. Click on there and make roasted pumpkin for 7 hours and 30 minutes. There we go, we've finished making our roasted pumpkin, now we need to buy a stereo. What else is missing? No party is complete without a stereo to play music to. Buy a stereo from the home store. So let's head back home and go into the electronics section in the home store and we will buy a stereo. I think we will buy, where are the stereos? We will buy a fancy stereo I think, maybe this three star one. There we go, buy a stereo, task completed. Now we need to turn on the stereo. The new stereo looks great and your sims can't wait to try it out. Have a sim, turn on the stereo. So, oh, we need to come out of build mode and click on there and turn on. She's smelly, she really needs a shower. There we go, we have finished that. Now we need to listen to spooky music, of course. How dare you take my costumes. The voice of the orange monster comes through the stereo. Your plan will never work. Yikes! Quickly, change the channel to some Halloween party music. Have a sim listen to spooky music on the stereo. I'm going to bring over one of our spooky sims. Click on the stereo. Listen to spooky music for five hours. We've finished listening to our spooky music. Now we need to ask Misty what to do. I'll be waiting for you in the park tomorrow. The orange monster voice, orange monster's voice booms through the stereo again. Oh no, Misty appeared and seems anxious. Have a sim, ask Misty what to do. Hmm, this is a bit worrying. Let's click on Misty. Ask what to do for eight hours and 30 minutes. She sure has a lot to say about that. That is task complete on asking Misty what to do. Now we need to collect our candy pieces. This time we need 225. Misty thinks that your sim could scare the orange monster into leaving sim town. Your sim should weaken it by getting more costumes back first. Have your sim scare purple monsters when they appear to collect more candy and get more costumes back. Right, so 225 this time, so we have got a lot to do. It only takes 2 hours and 30 minutes though. Let's get as many sims as we can. Collecting candy, we have another purple monster, so let's bring someone else over, someone else over, Ooh. can we bring anyone else over, let's see, oh no, place is too crowded now, so I'm going to continue collecting purple candy until we have 225. I've almost finished collecting all the candy. I just wanted to share with you a little tip that I found out. If you've got a few spare LPs, when I was just leaving the timer to run out the 2 hours and 30 minutes, the Sims would be collecting around 2 or 3 candies each. But if I waited until like half an hour had gone and it would just gone below the 2 hours, so I was only using 1 LP each time. If I use 1 LP now, Every single time I've done this, I've collected six candy pieces, so that will speed it up, and also you will gain more candy pieces. So if you have got a few LPs to spare, that is definitely a good way of speeding it up. I will show you with some more sims. So here we've got a couple of sims collecting candy over here. If we just speed a few of them up, see we get six every single time. We're getting six. Oh, and there we go. We have completed this part of the quest, so congratulations. Your teen sims can scare Simtown silly with this fairy and pumpkin costume set. So we'll go ahead and check those outfits out in a second. That's task complete, obviously. And then we move on to what I think is, yes, is the last part of the quest where we will win 
a witch, a ghost, a pirate, a zombie, and many more outfits. So the prices that we want for this part are for our teen sims. So if you grab a sim, a teen sim, and click on the wardrobe, go in the outfit section, and we want this pretty awesome fairy outfit. This is one of my favourites. I really, really like this outfit. And then with our boy, if we go into the outfit section again, we have worn this pumpkin, kind of scarecrow pumpkin outfit, which I really quite like. It reminds me of, um, oh, the Wizard of Oz, the scarecrow in the Wizard of Oz. I like that. There we go. Let's add him into the game. And here you go. Here they are. As you can see, the uh, fairy floats around the place. Pumpkin, I think, just walks normally. I don't think he does anything special but how cute are they there you go thank you for watching this fourth part of the quest join me soon when we're completing the last part give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed let me know how you're getting on with this quest down below and i will see you guys soon bye